now this question 124 you see this is uh, simple application of integration and that too in uh, work energy power chapter here they are saying that uh, a block of mass 10 kg is moving in x direction with a constant speed of 10 meter per second so it has some initial kinetic energy you can see initial kinetic energy if you see that will be half mv square so half into m that is 10 that is 5 into v square 100 so that makes it 500 joule this is the initial kinetic energy it has it is subjected to a retarding force so naturally this force will be doing some work and that will be reducing the kinetic energy how much is the work done work done is uh, minus f dx anyway it's a retarding force you can simply integrate so that makes it uh, 0 0.1 x square by 2 and it is varying from 20 to 30 because it has been reduced from 20 meter to 30 meter so if you solve this thing this will come out to be 900 minus 400 that is 500 into 0.1 that is 50 upon 2 this is equal to 25 joule so you see this much work is basically reducing the kinetic energy so final kinetic energy if you will have that will simply 500 minus 25 and that will be equal to 475 joule so I am marking option 2 for question number 124 now let us switch over to question number 125 Now this uh, question 125 it will be requiring some application of integration in the topic of electromagnetic induction here it says that a conducting square frame of side A that means this side also is A and this side also is A and a long straight wire you see this is a long straight wire carrying a current I so definitely it will be creating a magnetic field and that will be going into the plane of this square frame carrying current I are located in the same plane as shown the frame moves to the right now this frame is moving now you see whatever magnetic field has been created by this current I this is not a uniform one this side it is more that side it is less so as this will be moving on the flux inside this uh, square frame that will be changing with time and that will be simply creating some EMF here now it is uh, asking you to calculate the EMF induced in the frame is proportional to that means first you calculate what is the magnetic field if you talk about the flux yeah small amount of flux if you see this will be magnetic field created by this say at a distance x you are taking a strip of dx so what is the magnetic field there mu naught i by 2 pi x and what is the small area you can take adx now you integrate this thing entire thing from some particular fixed value say l to l plus a that will give you the flux flux is integration of this t phi and then finally whatever emf you want that is basically the differentiation of that thing mod of that and if you calculate then you will find that in your expression a term like this is appearing 1 upon 2x minus a into 2x plus a this will be in denominator so this will be the answer option 1 for the question 125 now let us switch over to question number 126 Here this uh, question number 126 it is based on uh, calculating moment of inertia you have been given three hollow spherical bodies uh, spherical shells they are calling and they are arranged this way axis x x dash is passing through one of the diameters and it is through the touching point of the lower two spherical shells it says that three identical spherical shells each of mass m and radius r are placed as shown in the figure consider an axis x x dash which is touching to two shells and passing through diameter of the third one you have to calculate the moment of inertia about that so it's an additive quantity if you talk about the moment of inertia of the upper one it is simply 2 by 3 mr square isn't it and if you talk about this one so this is uh, based on you can say perpendicular uh, sorry parallel axis theorem 2 by 3 mr square through the diameter plus mr square and you have two such spheres so multiplied by 2 that will make it in total 4 mr square so this will be the total moment of inertia of this uh, entire arrangement so I will be marking answer 1 for this question question number 126 now switch over to question number 127 Now this question number 127 it is based on logic gates and you can say 
uh, you are supposed to identify which uh, particular gate is the combination of such gates. Which logic gate is represented by following combination of logic gates. One way is that you start making the truth table that will be a lengthy process. If you apply a little bit of mathematics, you can say it is first passing through NOT gate. So, you are having A dash and then B is also passing through NOT gate that is B dash and both of them are first getting added. Getting added means this is union and after that you have the inverse of that because this is the NOR gate through which they are passing A dash union B dash. So, if you apply this uh, D Morgan's law then that makes it A intersection B or you can say A and B. So, ultimately it will function as AND gate. You can also say this is an application of uh, various NOR gates as you have studied that various NOR gates or NAND gates they are universal gates and you can form any other gate. So, if you look at the circuit of how NOR gates are being used to make AND gate. So, you will find this kind of uh, similar circuit is given there. So, this is the standard answer AND gate and fourth option will be the correct option for question number 127. Now, let us switch over to question number 128.